Hello friends, welcome back. So recently I was doing some exercise like is there a way to create a CSV data out of this payload or other JSON response because I was uh, looking for that data to train my machine learning model and uh, without writing any program is there a way that I can create my data set easily and after a little googling I found there is a tool called JQ which is a command line JSON processor which is which immensely you know was helpful for me and so I thought to create a quick video for you also to share the same experience and I believe it should be helpful to you because many of uh, the world is API for us so we need to deal with this API and the JSON response uh, every time so if we know the data aggregation and those kind of you know processing without writing any programming but we can you know understand the data content much easier with the JQ nothing better like that right so that's the reason probably and motivation rather now to start with, I I should say like this JQ uh, need to be installed. It may not be installed as a default. So you can download this one and you can install to your machine. So I just I've installed this with a chocolatey because I'm a Windows user. And if you're a Mac user, you can use Brew to install JQ. For example, this is my uh, VS Code. In the command line, if I just run which JQ, and it just shows chocolatey under bin, this JQ is installed. Now, if I run JQ version, it's showing the same one, like 1.6. That's what we have just seen. Okay. So with that, what we'll do, we'll just put a call command first to grab the data from this Northwind API because Northwind API is a very popular and open API. And we'll just use URL. And what I want to copy, grab this value. Or you already gather put it here right because it's a I just limited to dollar top three only the first three products so that I can it will be easy for me to sh you know, show the content to you otherwise it will, it will be a big lengthy JSON difficult right and I want to create a file called product dot once this file got created you see the data is all in a not a prettier fashion that's okay now the magic would be like jq and dot the dot is an identifier it says like whatever the input comes to me i will just return or emit as an output only thing is i'll make the content prettier if it's a valid json so this is our product or json cool it's all coming up now but in a prettier way it's easy to you know visualize the content now our intention is out of this content we will be creating a csv data set where all the keys will be my header and all the values will be my item if you carefully see this content it's already wraps around the things called value which is an array and which contains individual three objects so now we'll be doing a filter but on value because i want to grab the value and again product and you see now the value is gone only I started with an array but we need again the array content so very simple so we'll be putting value and then on array so that I only get the object but not the wrapper kind of an array right with the square bracket it's only the object that we got that's cool so next would be can I pass this content to another processing right? that is called a piping right so once you want to use piping you make sure you put a comma i mean within quotation rather quotation end and pipe starts and you want to say like hey i want to pass this content to something called an array which has the keys and the dot means whatever the input i have received so input is nothing but this object multiple different three iterations of objects so that will come over here as a dot that's the input to this pipe and on that i want to just look for this product ID, right and everything i'm wrapping under a under an array and if i run you see only the product id one two and three that's extracted from this object so that pretty much easy to put more keys 
and we can trap more values right cool so let's take only the first one that is value zero right so the first element i want to limit to and this will be like that once it comes as a this fashion now i can put it in a another operator and that is called csv so now it is easy another piping because that value which is this one i want to put it to an operator called at the rate csv yeah i got the data but now but in kind of inland characters but the outside array is vanished now this one i want to put it like raw output and you don't have any inland characters so now only thing is i have to download to my data.csv and the data set is created now obviously if i remove this because we have three products so if i just remove this zero i still see all my products coming like that what is the downside the downside is i need to pass the keys like that and that is not a convenient way right is there any other better approach you'll find something called keys unsorted and keys these two uh, things that we can use to access or you know grab the keys out of this object so what we can do so this is what was our initial value under the pipe we'll put keys and we basically grab only the keys but no values at this moment now similar way let's first resolve the keys part yeah so the first item is the keys and so the keys i want to extract so that means if i put this way yeah i get all the keys right and next would be these keys i want to apply on each i mean the output of this particular uh, inputs which is the value of the first object so the prints grab under this array and apply all the keys on dot so uh, my bad it should be over here so that's where the keys actually applied on top of the input of this uh, JSON for the first item and that is all the values we have got. So that's where the values we received. Once we get the value, we can put it in another array because we have to form it as part of an array so that we can create the CSV. So that means now we are in a position to put it into CSV fashion and voila, we got it. Only thing is now we have to make a raw fashion, right? So just raw output. And you get all the values. Now the thing is, the keys which you have received, if we just check, it is actually sorted way. It's coming up by default. So what would be intention for us would be using keys unsorted. So however, I mean, what about the sequence we have received? Of the key same sequence we want to use it so that way the data will be properly mapped so now we have to just put it on my data and you see the data coming like this and this is what we want right so now if we just remove the this zero part then we'll get all the values in a csv format so next attempt would be like is there any other way alternate way instead of going by this array concepts let's use a loop or for loop okay on this particular keys and apply that to grab the values so now let's use jq once again but this time we'll do a you know for loop on the keys so that is dot value pipe sign and now what I want I want to loop through on the keys so keys unsorted and that as 
dollar t. So this is an iterator. So that's that means this value I need to pass to an, another piping and this products. You see only all the keys came out, right? The way we have seen last time. Because as many as objects are there, the same thing actually iterating through and finally the keys coming up over here like that. So let's put it as zero. What will happen? The first one I have received. So let's grab that array and now apply this on the output because this is an iterator as I said. No uh, filtration or no kind of operations has been performed on its input. It's just an iterator, okay? So now the dot would be nothing but the, whatever the value that I have received. So on that, I'll be applying all the keys. So if I run, you see all the values coming up. But we need an array format. So we need the enter piece is a part of array. Right? And now it is like that. So it is now good enough for us to put it under CSV operator and just add the raw output and finally we need uh, my data that's it you see all the values again come back so that means if I remove it all values coming up with this just in format I mean the CSV format that's was what I was looking at right and uh, hope that was helpful to you but i feel it's just the introduction and thanks for watching i hope uh, you enjoyed it and see you soon with the next episode